So I thought what I'd do is uh, work through some of the uh, graphing and homework I assigned the other day. And uh, rather than do it on the board, I think I'm going to do it on paper with just this uh, sort of the talking hand version and uh, see if we can do that. So what I'll do is probably post three videos of these and um, uh, do like three problems on each one so they don't get too long. Uh, but th at the same time, we don't have just so many of them. So. Uh, anyway, here, here's the first uh, first one is f of x is 3 sine of x. And so what we uh, need to have, we need to have the amplitude. Remember, the amplitude is the absolute value of the coefficient, not the coefficient itself. So the, ap the amplitude is the absolute value of 3, which is 3. We know the basic shape uh, are three basic shapes. There's the positive sign. There's the negative sign. There's the positive cosine and there's the negative cosine. So those, those four basic shapes need to be part of what you just know and you have those in your mental furniture so you can use those whenever you need. So this is the positive sine shape. And so it uh, goes from node, peak, node, trough, node. And then we need the uh, interval. The interval over which we're going to graph this and the standard interval is 0 to 2 pi. We're not changing the interval at all. So this should be pretty straightforward. It's the standard interval, basic sine curve. Uh, however, however, the amplitude is 3. And as usual, we try to make it a reasonably accurate scale. Here's 1, 2, 3. Well, that is approximately pi. So slightly more than that would be pi. There's 2 pi approximately. So this is pi over 2. This is 3 pi over 2. And then we also have 1, 2, negative 3, and positive 3 on the y-axis. And so it is convenient at times to sort of sketch out or box out where this graph is going to be. We'll see this as we get a little bit more involved. But that picture needs to fit in that box, starting at node, peak. For the first quarter, it's the peak. Second quarter comes back to the node. Third quarter to the trough and then the fourth quarter back to the node and just sketching that in. So there's the graph of that function. All right. The second one assigned here, we have f of x, negative two cosine of x. Amplitude, this is where the, uh, this is where the absolute value is going to earn their keep. The absolute value of negative two is two. So the distance uh, between the uh, peak and the nodes, or the nodes and the trough, is going to be two units. Uh, the basic shape, this is the cosine curve, but it's a negative cosine. So the basic shape is going to be the negative cosine curve. Starts at the trough, node, peak, node, trough. And then the interval is again the standard interval because there's no change of period in this. There's no multiplier inside the function. So the interval is the same as the standard 2 pi. And so I'll draw this over here to save some space. Again, try to keep the scale reasonably close. Here's 1, so there's 2. Well, if that's 1, 1, 2, 3, and a little bit more, that's pi. Um, here's negative 2. If that's pi, that's approximately 2 pi. That's approximately pi over 2. That's approximately 3 pi over 2. And we need it is convenient to make a little box and we know this entire picture has to fit in that box. Starting at the trough, the first quarter is the node, Second quarter is the peak, third quarter is the node, fourth quarter is the trough. And so beyond that, just make the picture look nice. If the line misses the dot, just make the dots bigger. And that's a rough sketch of that graph. The third, what do we have? We have uh, 1 half sine of x. Uh, the amplitude, in this case, is absolute value of a half, which is a half. So instead of stretching vertically, this is going to actually be compressed vert vertically. 
uh, the shape. What do we have? We have a positive sine curve. So that should be well in our comfort zone. And again, the standard interval. So these are the three pieces of information you need to have for now to be able to draw the sketch. The interval is from zero to two pi. And if this is one, don't worry about the details here yet, but if that's one, and then one, two, three, there's, there's pi. You should get used to this. If this is one, just go one, two, three, and a little bit more, that's pi. So the scale is approximately accurate. What you don't want to have is something like this, where you put one here and pi here, because pi is much larger than one. It's, it's three times as large as one. And so this would not give an accurate representation of the picture. You want to have a reasonably accurate scale. If this is one, then about one, two, three, and a little more, there's pi. Double that is approximately 2 pi. Half of that is pi over 2. 1 half, 2 halves, 3 halves. 3 pi over 2. So we need to break this into fourths, just as always. Except now the amplitude is only a half. So it only goes up to a half and down to negative 1 half. So that's where this little rectangle can really start to earn its keep as this picture gets a little bit more complicated. And this shape node, peak, node, trough, node. And so what this tells us is that's a compressed curve. The actual sine curve itself would go all the way up to here, all the way up to one, and all the way down to negative one. And so we see this curve has actually been compressed vertically, whereas this curve has been stretched vertically. If this amplitude were only one, then this would be the picture and we see this, this curve has actually been stretched vertically. Whatever's below the axis is twice as far down. Whatever was above the axis is twice as far up. So we have a vertical stretch. We have a vertical compression. That's a change of amplitude.